Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. As you can see, the 2023 Wisdom Challenge is about to begin. But let's be very clear, you are not going to gain wisdom from listening to a bunch of false teachers. And who determined this challenge was worth almost $1,000? You can learn from infamous false teacher Bill Johnson or Christine Kane. Or how about heavenly tourist Heidi Baker that travels to heaven often and can't even keep her story about the body parts room in heaven consistent? Or how about Brian Simmons, who single-handedly wrote the passion mistranslation of the Bible because Jesus visited him and told him to do that? Like, this is a group of lying deceivers. And hey, even prosperity preacher Joel Osteen is joining the NAR crowd now to inject a different kind of deception into the mix. Or how about false prophet and master storyteller Chris Vallotton, who gets personal visits from Jesus while in the bathroom? There's false prophet head-shaking Stacey Campbell. And here's a shocker. Rustlin is teaming up with them now. He's flown under the radar for a long time and influences a quarter of a million people. This guy is a full-on hypocrite because he's called out Joel Osteen on several occasions in the past. And now he's actually teaming up with him. And let's get 100 here for a sec. Rustlin is a longtime buddy with Alan Parr as well. Yet Alan Parr made a video saying not to follow discernment ministries. What about Rustlin, Alan? And now that your buddy is teaming up with these false teachers, how is that going to affect your relationship? Anyhow, another guy with this group is Keith Ferrante, the guy that charges $5,000 for a prophetic certification and has a consulting fee of $25,000. This program is endorsed by three false prophets as well, Chris Vallotton, Sean Boltz, and Lana Vosser. And the person running this is multimillionaire Pedro Adeo. And as we've said before, birds of a feather, my friends. And the saddest part is that over 100,000 people from over 100 countries have taken this challenge and are blind to the deception of this group of false teachers. If you want wisdom, then ask God, because that's what we're told to do in James 1.5, and he will give it to you generously without finding fault. Maybe you're a new Christian and haven't realized the errors of these people yet. And if that's the case, we have many playlists on these people and their false teachings so that you can better be equipped to discern the false teachers that Jesus and the apostles of the Bible have warned us about. With that being said, we're going to keep it short for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts below. And until next time, take care and God bless.